and in these questions there will be total out in one and five questions there will be total five five questions and all five questions will be compulsory that will be for equally hello dear aspirant welcome to blue dot is today i will be discussing about upsc history optional syllabus in this video of about 15 to 20 minute i will be telling you why history optional is important for upsc preparation will this history also helpful in your gs paper 1 or in the prelims examination or in the interview or hereafter these all details we will be discussing today in this video आज इस वीडियो में आपको भी बताने वाला हूं कि आपको क्या पढ़ना चाहिए कितने टाइम में हिस्ट्री ऑप्शन की प्रिपरेशन हो सकती है और कितने कितने घंटे हमें पढ़ाई करनी है और कितने टोटल टाइम लग जाएगा आप जानते हैं कि जनरली एक साल कम से कम तो लगता है टोटल यूपीएससी के प्रीलिम्स में तो उसको डेढ़ साल और दो साल भी देते हैं तो ऐसा क्या करना चाहिए कि हिस्ट्री ऑप्शन की प्रिपरेशन जो है बहुत आसानी से हो जाए लेटेस्ट डिस्कस टू डेन डिटेल फर्स्टली वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट that how many papers are there and what is the composition of the UPSC examinations. You know that in UPSC there are three stages of exam. Prelims, Mens and Interview. In prelims there are two papers. Paper 1 and Paper 2. Paper 1 is especially about the general studies in which questions have been asked from history, polity, geography, international affairs, current affairs and etc. In this one, there will be 100 questions in which roughly 15 to 17 questions have been generally asked from the history only. So, history will help in the prelims exam also. Then in the mains examination, there are the paper of essay paper, language paper and 4 GS paper. Paper 1, paper 2, paper 3, paper 4. In the paper 1, there are 20 questions. Out of them, at least 5 to 6 questions have been asked from history only. This is what we know. Apart from it, what more we know about is that there are some of the indirectly questions have been asked from world history and other uh, papers in the GS paper too also like the political science like the geography and uh, ethnomics and many other papers are very much related to the correlated to the history only this is what we know and interview also play important role because you know in the examination the interviewers are expected and especially the aspirants are expected by the interviewers to answer few questions and they should be aware about the national movement, important ideologies in the India's freedom struggle and all. This is what we know in detail, right? So history play a very important role. So let me tell you that how many papers are there in history and what is the total contribution of the history in the total selections. So when you know that in the total maths, if we discuss about the total maths, right? तो हमारा डिस्कशन आज का है यूपीएससी मेंस एग्जामिनेशन सो यूपीएससी मेंस एग्जामिनेशन एंड इन विच व्हाट इज दी परसेंटेज ऑफ द हिस्ट्री इसमें हिस्ट्री का परसेंटेज क्या है सो वी आर पर्टिकुलरली हियर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द हिस्ट्री ऑप्शनल है ना हिस्ट्री ऑप्शनल so when we discuss about history optional, what more, more we know about them? Do you know that total about in the UPSC examinations, the total papers we have, out of them, we in the optional paper we have 500 marks. In the optional paper we have 500 marks. And then we have the GS paper. Hai na? So one we have optional, then we have GS, we have 1000 marks. Okay. And then we have the essay. We have 250 marks, huh? and then we have the language are other important topic. Okay, these are the main things. So let us discuss in detail that what is the total weightage in the history optional, huh? So history optional में कितने paper है और कितने weightage है? Let us discuss today in detail. So we have history optional. You know, student, in the history optional, we divide history optional into two part. The part one in the history optional, we have the part one will be called paper 1 and then part 2 here will be the paper 2. A student in the paper 1 uh, there are total 250 marks. 
so this is of 250 marks and then paper 2 it is also of the 250 marks okay in each of the paper if i firstly discuss about the questions how many questions have been asked okay so if you particularly discuss about the questions which are asked here in this one there will be total eight questions hmm, there will be total eight questions and out of these eight questions out of these eight questions there will be part one and then will be part two same thing is follow in the paper 2 also right yes when in the paper 2 also we have eight questions eight questions we have and then in this eight questions we have part one and part two part one and part two these are the divisions we have yes when okay now the point is that in these divisions what is the demarcation of the subject you know that history has ancient india medieval india modern world post independent then we have the art and culture and all so do you know in the history optional art and culture are integrated throughout all the papers and you know, they are not separate here so in the part one the questions will be the important questions here will be the questions on the mapping so there will be the sites of the mapping from ancient and medieval type so mapping questions are there of the total 50 marks mapping and then the, this is mostly from the ancient India. Questions will be mostly from the ancient India. Then in the part two, we will have questions will be mostly from the medieval India. And when we discuss part one of the paper two, questions are mostly from the modern India. Modern plus post independent, okay? And then here in the part two, questions will be mostly from the world history. And do you know a student in these eight questions, the question number one in this one out of the eight questions, we will have the question number one. So in this question number one and question number five. So question number one and question number five, these questions are compulsory. In which same things are followed here also. Hai na? So question number one and question number five is compulsory ये दोनों के दोनों क्या होते हैं compulsory होते हैं and in these questions there will be total out in one and five questions there will be total five five questions and all five questions will be compulsory that will be for equally the ten ten marks तो पांच पांच questions दोनों compulsory होते हैं बाकी part one part two से you will be asked to write a separate three any questions तो तीन और questions का आपको answer करना है तो total पांच questions हो गए जिसमें आपको answer देनी है और उसमें define करना है कि कौन कौन से ले सकते हैं तो total आठ questions के अंदर except question 1 and 5 will have 5 5 question or question 3 4 then we have the 6 7 8 will have 3 3 each questions hai na? this tarah se demarcation mein we have so many questions are here as one okay so this is what we know about the brief patterns of the paper 1 and paper 2 now the point is that what should be the book we should read hai na? which should which book will be the should be the recommended by the student to read all of these patterns okay let me talk to you about this one if you read the two important book from ancient india if you talk to ancient india if you read two important book the book number one in the ancient india jo hai hamara book hai is book ka naam hai rs sharma rs sharma ancient india and plus we have the opinder singh ancient india Upinder Singh Ancient India. It is enough. For medieval India, the, we have the book called Satish Chandra. That's it. The, that is the best book in the market to read. Then for the modern India, okay, the book we should read for the optional point of view paper. Uh, the one book is very important. That is especially the book called the we have the book written by Rajiv Ahir. Hana. Rajiv Ahir. And this book is especially mostly known as a, a spectrum book. This is called spectrum. Bolte hai. This is the first important book. Then second important book, you can read the book of the Bipin Chandra. Bipin 
Ramachandra. And then in the world history, we have the normal law book, which is a very important book. Huh? So we have Norman law mastering world history book name so these are the eight books are enough apart from this we need to read the book of the ancient time we have mapping we will have to read the mapping booklet so these are the brief patterns of the syllabus we have discussed we have also discussed that what is the pattern of the uh, the booklet that you should be reading and then you will be covering all your notes but do you know a student that through this book you will be able to cover only about the 80 percent of the syllabus because there are few questions which will be related to the current affair so you need to read the current affair also because there will be few questions which would be directly related to the current affair only. So current affair will further help you to answer more questions. So in Sapkya Laba, apart from this one, what we should read is stuff. Hame or chije kya padni chahiye apart from these all things. So apart from this one, apart from it, what others, what else? Hame or kya padna chahiye. Okay, this is the question. So apart from it, the, the, the different things that we should, be, we should be reading, one that is very compulsory to read is a new NCRT. So new NCRT will be very important and recommended to read because in the examination there are happens that multiple times questions have been directly asked from the new NCRT. So we should be covering new NCRT, then we should be covering the current affair also. Current affairs also. So this is a brief pattern. So if you cover all of these things, you will be covering your syllabus. Your syllabus is me. Aram se preparations ho jayenge, student. Hai na? Jab apki maal lijiye preparations is me hoti hai. To fir apko kya cover karna hai? Me apko samjha raha hu. Maal lijiye apne itna cover kar liya hai. In sab ke baad kitna padna chahiye? Af agar aap apne ghar pe, hai na? That how much time you need to cover all of these syllabus? How much time? how much time you should give to complete your syllabus how much time you should read to complete your syllabus let me tell you if you read very nicely agar aap bahut acche se padhte hain and if you give the 4 hour at home for the next 7 to 8 month then you will be able to cover all this syllabus nicely so what you have to do you have to give how many time you have to give a student the total time you have to give at least four hour a day and four hours a day for how many time for about six to seven month then only you will be able to complete all these syllabus but in sabke saath aapko the dusri chiz yahan padni hai wo pyq bhi solve karna hai you have to solve the PYQ also. Then you will be able to complete your syllabus. It happens in all the paper also a student. In the sociology, anthropology and other subjects, you have to do all these things. These all things are very important to do. But the point is that how to make this history optional preparation easy. Because if you read sociology also, psychology also, anthropology also, any paper you take. All the paper needs time. Sab mein paanch se saath mahine lag jayenge. But the point is, there is a weightage of taking history optional. Because this is going to help you in the prelims also, mains also. And thereafter, it will help you in the interview also. And after after the preparations also, this is going to help you in the daily affairs of the life. Hai na? Because we know the many incidents are happening in the life that will help you to solve through the historical events. Okay, So history are very important. But the point is that we at a Plutus IS had brought a course for the history optional. In this course of history arsenal, we aim to complete the syllabus within 5 to 6 months. So within 5 to 6 months, we aim to complete this syllabus. So let us discuss that how you will complete the syllabus within 5 months or 6 months or what are the different books you will be reading when you will join Plutus IS. Will you have to read anything extra apart from this? or you will not have to read anything that is mentioned here 
let me tell you if you join here if you join at the plutus is what is the most important things and other codes with me you know so if you join a course at a plutus is as a history optional so if you do a preparation of history optional at plutus is okay with Doctor Jitendra Kumar. So, what is the most important things you will have to do? Let me just tell you, है ना? So, I am just telling you the time. कितने time आपको देना पड़ेगा जिससे hundred percent you will complete your syllabus. The first point here we have the time. So, you will have to give two hours a class. Two hours a class. for the next 6 month and 2 hours of revision 2 hours for revision whatever you will be taught at plutus iets at the home so aapko kya karna hai next day 2 ghante aapko class mein dene hain 4 hour a day 4 hour a week and then multiples 4 hour is topic topic ke liye hoga So we will have to give two hours for four days a week in the Pulutas Science Institute for the next six month, and then I just need you to do a two-hour revision at the home a week, and then you will be able to complete all these things, है ना? तो आराम से दो घंटे अगर आप घर पे होम पे रिवीजन करते हैं और दो घंटे यहाँ पे टाइम देते हैं छह महीने तक, so you will be able to complete your syllabus, है ना? It is only of the four days a week. You don't have to give time every days a week. अगर आप रोज टाइम देते हैं तो ये तो आप तीन हफ्ते में चार हफ्ते में ही कंप्लीट कर लेंगे सो दिस इज अ टाइम लाइन वी नीड नाउ द पॉइंट इज दैट व्हाट टू रीड हमें क्या पढ़ना है है ना सेट व्हाट यू विल बी रीडिंग हियर सो व्हाट शुड बी द रीडिंग मटेरियल्स सो डू यू नो स्टूडेंट यू विल हैव अ सेपरेट हैंड फॉर एवरी आपको यहाँ पे सेपरेट हैंड मिलेगा स्पेशली दैट इज कॉल लेक्चर नोट्स so we will have a printed lecture notes do you know this printed lecture notes will be given to you in which subject and year do you know this will be given to there will be the seven seven notes properly point number 1 lecture notes will be on the ancient india so eight lecture notes aapko kis pe mil jayenge one topic will be from the ancient india you will have one lecture note of about 70 pages hai na 70 page ka ancient india ka aapko notes mil jayenge this is what we know then what further we know about here is that you will have the lecture notes of medieval india then you will have a lecture notes of modern india okay then you will have the modern india then you will have post independent india post independent india post independent then we will have the world history and then we will have the mapping notes these all things will be shared with you in the printed copy apart from this note do you know what you will have you will get apart from this one hai na apart from this one what you will get here is that you will get the ppts also to iske sath sath aapko kya mil jayegi class ppt so this class ppt will cover all the important notes and which things which are not mentioned in the notes hai na these all things will be visible in the class ppt as well and then we will have a, some of the important topics will be dictations also so there will be dictation on some of the important topics also so these all things will be covered as student for all these hai na this will be there in all ancient india medieval india world history post independent and world his uh, mapping and all these all things will cover so ye sare cheez जैसे आप कवर कर लेंगे एंड इवन यू रिवाइज ऑल दिस थिंग्स योर सिलेबस विल बी कंप्लीटेड एंड लेट मी टेल यू यू विल बी हंड्रेड परसेंट नॉट ओनली प्रिपेयर फॉर द ऑप्शनल एग्जामिनेशन बट जीएस पेपर वन एंड प्रीलिम्स एग्जामिनेशन आल्सो सो प्रीलिम्स 
जी एस वन एंड ऑप्शनल दिस विल कवर एवरीथिंग ये सब चीज आपको इसी में कवर हो जाएगा आपको इसके अलावा कुछ भी चीजें नहीं पढ़नी पड़ेगी है ना दिस इज माई गारंटी दैट यू विल बी प्रिपेयर फॉर हिस्ट्री ऑप्शनल एग्जामिनेशन वंस यू ज्वाइन विद मी इफ यू हैव एनी कंसर्न एंड डाउट रिलेटेड टू दिस टॉपिक प्लीज फील फ्री टू कमेंट ऑन द यूट्यूब लिंक और यू कैन कॉन्टेक्ट माई मैनेजमेंट टीम ऑल्सो गिव एन विल्यू ऑन दिस वन and apart from it you can also go through the uh, pyq explanations of the videos which are available on the plutus youtube channel and plutus website also and we have made other videos also on the different different topic you can feel free to do that you can also join here for the demo classes with me and through that you will be able to complete your uh, preparations with me okay student so, i hope we'll see you again if you have any doubt you please reach out to us through number or through the comment link okay thank you so much for watching this video